Hello everyone, welcome to FoxTech again. FoxTech has been providing you with the tutorials largely for years and the topic for today is how do you connect the USB to the iPad? Now at first you have to figure out what's going on, what kind of USB you want to connect to your iPad and also what iPad you happen to have. Now let's say I want to connect this regular USB you can see that's the USB-A, the older type of connection. Let's say I want to connect it to my iPad Pro. In this case, iPad Pro is equipped with the USB-C port. You can see it right there. So it's the new port compared to the old one. Now, in this case, you at first need to find some sort of connection, uh, some way of connecting it. What I like to use is this adapter. So this is an adapter which can be plugged in using the USB-C cable. On one side, it has USB-C, which I can easily plug inside of my iPad without any problems. Of course, the connection fits. And if I have this other USB cable, which is the old one, I can use it to connect it through this very accessory. So I can plug it in like this. This goes through USB-C to my iPad. In that case, I have managed to successfully connect the USB to my iPad. Now, it depends on what this is, because this is just a USB cable connected to this card reader, so it's not really going to work with the iPad, of course. But in, if it was an actual USB flash drive with storage, you'd be able to find it inside of the Files app. By the way, guys, if you want to know everything about your iPhone apps, you have to click the link down below in the description. It's a 100% free education platform where I publish like video editing courses. There is going to be the All Apps Explained course, which is coming up. It's going to explain every single app on your iPhone. It's going to be really cool. So go ahead and check out that link. It's free to access. So yeah, go ahead and do that right now. So let me show you what it would look like. For example, if you have this adapter, you can see this is like multi-port. So you have like three USBs. You have the SD card, smaller and the larger one as well. So if I, for example, connect the, the flash and drive, you can see here's the SD card. If I connect it like this, this is the, the port. I'm just going to show you that it works. If you open up the files app, you're going to be able to find it in here. The two is literally the SD card right here. So that's how this works. That's how you can use it. Of course, if you have a different type of accessory, and let's say you have this flash drive, you can see this is the Samsung T5. I use it a lot, but this one is equipped with USB-C. The iPad is equipped with USB-C. So in this case, all I have to do is just to use the double-sided USB cable. I don't even have to use any third-party accessories or anything like that. This is USB-C to go to the iPad. This is USB-C to go to the uh, go to the external hard drive. I can connect it easily. If I disconnect the first one right here, you can see this is what I can do about it. And this one is going to show up on my iPad as well. So you can see here is the backups. This is what I wanted to show you. You can easily connect it. So you perhaps don't even need accessories in case you have the right cables to connect it with. So it's up to you to decide what your situation is, what type of accessory you want to connect it with. And of course, something may not even work, as I told you about the card reader. It can only read hard drives. The iPad is capable of that. And it depends if you want to connect it through USB-C or the USB-A depending on what you have. So that's going to be about it. I'm going to wrap up this video right now. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you hit the like button under it to, to just let me know that you liked it. And for more content, also subscribe to the Fox Tech as well. See you guys later. Peace out.